What's good out there guys? It's real easy here and I'm back with another dope video for you guys. This is going to be a video on how to get the white duffel bag. In my opinion, the rarest cosmetic item in the game, the rarest outfit component in the game right now. All right, it's in the game files. We can't get it from jobs. The only place to get it is from the DM trailer. And we have a method here that I wouldn't call it 100% but it's probably the best method out there. I hit it the first try. You heard me right. I hit this method on my first try. I haven't been to the trailer in almost a year and went back there and got this duffel bag on the first try. Okay, so I'm telling you, it's very worth it to try this method if you're interested in the white bag. Okay, now it's going to take you a considerable amount of time, but it'll be worth it. And I'm going to detail everything in this tutorial. That's why I've made the tutorial the length that it is. Okay, and remember, duping the birds takes the longest. Now, shout out to all the founders of everybody who contributed to the DM glitch because it's all a part of this. And shout out to Chitty Bang Bang for this theory or this, uh, this series of steps that he made to be able to save this duffel bag. All right, so what you're going to need is two characters, a male and a female, and set your spawn location to the bunker on your main character we'll get to that and uh, not all these steps may be necessary okay but we're still working through it and we're gonna find uh, I'd say just honestly go with the method that you're seeing right here because I hit it my first try and later on we'll try to eliminate some steps okay but uh, first of all, what you want to go ahead and do is head over to story and you want to switch over to your second character. Now, when I say your second character, I mean the character that you don't want the duffel bag on. OK, the character that you do not want the duffel bag. I want it on my male character, which is the main. I'm going to my second character, which is the female. OK, and remember, you must have opposite genders for this to work. OK, according to the founder. Not 100% on that. Now, I've switched over to my female character, which is my second character, the one I don't want the bag on, and we're gonna get set up to do the glitch. Now, I put on a default outfit, sweatpants and a t-shirt, you know, the gloves are, you know, not really necessary, and a forward cap, all right? Now, you wanna head over to an ammunition and you wanna go to the parachute section. Now, once you're at the parachutes, go to the bags and you wanna, you wanna select a very specific one. We're gonna be getting the Israel parachute. All right, you see this, the Israel shoot bag? That's the one you want to go ahead and buy, okay? So buy that bag, and then we're going to want to stock up on a few secondary bags, okay? So you see reserve parachutes. You're going to head over to reserve parachutes, and honestly, buy any one of these. Buy the last three. This is all I did. I just bought three of them, and uh, you're going to see why we need that here in a little bit. Now, once you get out of the menu there, go ahead and select your outfit and make sure you're wearing the Israel parachute. Okay, you're going to see me select it. There we go. Uh, turn the parachute on and I have it there. Okay, and you want to have a default outfit just like this. Don't worry about the IAA badge, just sweatpants, the parachute bag and a t-shirt. Okay, and a forward cap. And you want to go ahead and just save it like this. Now, the founder said put a rebreather on. I've confirmed you don't need a rebreather whatsoever. So don't worry about that. Now that you have the outfit made on your second character, you have the parachute bag, head over to the parachute section in the interaction menu and just scroll through reserve shoots like you saw me do there. And now in the character wheel, you should see two parachutes, a number two right there at the bottom bottom right of the character wheel. Set your spawn location to last location. Uh, you could select your outfit again if you'd like to force a save, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and select a story mode character and head back to story. Okay, that part is essential, I think. Okay, make sure you scroll through your reserve bags and there's a number two under the bags in the weapon wheel. Okay, now once you're back in story, you want to go ahead and choose character. Okay, and now we're always going back to story to choose character. I think it's the safest way. A lot of people lose outfits by changing character while they're in sessions. All right, now you want to go and select your main character. All right, this is my male character. This is the one that you actually want the duffel bag for. Okay, so I want the white duffel bag of my main character. That's that's what I'm selecting right now. Now with your main character, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to head over to one of these ammunitions. Once you head to the animation ammunition, hit right D-pad, go to the parachute bags and same thing. You're going to go buy the Israel shoot bag. I already had it, but I wanted to show you again the Israel parachute bag. That's the one you want to get. Go to reserve parachutes. Same thing. Buy three of them. I bought the last three. Just buy a few. It doesn't have to be exactly three. All right. So I went ahead and I bought those and we're going to run through the same thing. But I realized I didn't have a default outfit. All right. 
And by default, I just mean a t-shirt and sweatpants. All right, so I'm gonna show you the exact outfit that I made for my male character to bring the parachute bag on, or to bring the white duffel bag online. Okay, so you guys can see exactly what I put on. That's the hat. This is the t-shirt. It's just a crew t-shirt and the t-shirt sections. You see that? And then the pants, you wanna head over to sports pants and it's the white striped sweatpants. And it puts on the default shoes, all right? So that this is the outfit you want, all right? That outfit with the Israel parachute bag you want to go ahead and save it just like this i have the ia badge and once again don't worry about that that's not essential all right so now that i have that we're going to do the same thing once again that we did on the female character go to your parachute bags scroll through the reserve parachutes a little bit just a little bit you know you don't have to do anything crazy and then you're going to open up your wet your weapon wheel all right you're going to see me do that right here in a second i'm going to go outside and you see that i have a two next to the sniper and you see the parachute bags there's a number two there that's what you want okay so at this point open up your interaction menu and set your spawn location to your bunker all right you see that farmhouse bunker set your spawn location to the bunker i'm going to select my outfit to force a game save bottom right you see the orange circle there we go i forced the game save now, get into a buzzard, any sort of helicopter, your CEO buzzard is probably the easiest. Head over to a time trial, all right? You wanna head over to a time trial, jump out of the helicopter, and just parachute down, all right? We're just parachuting down normally right now. Nothing weird or glitchy going on here. So once you land, you should take the parachute off just like this. See that? Now get ready, go ahead and EWO. Take the easy way out, just kill yourself, just like that. All right, now once you've done that, you're gonna spawn back without the bag. Go ahead and go to style, select your outfit, you'll have the bag back on. Now, if you open up your weapon wheel, you should have no parachute symbol at all, all right? No two, no parachute, nothing. That's what you wanna see, okay? So at this point, you wanna head over to the time trial, grab any sort of vehicle so that you can activate the time trial. All right, I'm gonna take this guy out after I stole his truck. And I'm gonna head over to the time trial, stop, and hit right D-pad. After a couple seconds, you can go ahead and select a story mode character and head back online. Or sorry, head back to story, sorry. So as you can see, most of this glitch is just setting up, really. Setting up and then you'll see dupe in the birds. So once you get to story, now we can head into director mode, all right? I'm in director mode now. This is where you know the glitch really really begins where we start glitching stuff out now we're going to set up the short list in case you guys forgot how to do birds i have a bunch of stuff on my short list i'm going to go ahead and take everything off you see that i'm removing everything from my short list now i'm going to go to actors head to animals well first you want to set your online character so you want to set your second character the one you don't want the bag on you see i'm going to press triangle to short list the character i don't want the bag on and then i'm going to go to animals and i'm going to short list a bird the only bird that i have on this save right here okay so i'm going to short list the bird and just like that uh, press b or circle to go back then head to the short list again as you can see the bird actually duped there and now you just want to hold up on your left stick and if you do that you should now start scrolling back and forth between the online character and the pigeon now as you can see i'm not duping birds it's not working all right if this happens to you here's the fix for it if you're duping birds just keep duping we'll get to you in a second so if it was if you weren't able to do birds right after all that just exit to story mode like you see me do here, head back into director mode. Once you've done that, head back to the short list, and then go ahead and hold up on the left stick again, and the birds should start duping. All right, you barely notice it there, but trust me, they're duping, you'll see right here. And there we go. You see that? So they've started duping. Now, this is gonna take roughly 25 minutes. So I recommend grabbing your phone or looking at the time, set a timer for 25 minutes and you wanna come back at around 24 to 24 and a half minutes to take control yourself. But what I would do is get a shoelace, get a string, get, to get something to tie the left stick up in position so that this can do its job for 25 minutes. Now I fast forwarded obviously and I've come back this is where I've taken full control over the controller. I'm not letting my, I used to use my headphones to tie the stick up. Now I'm actually just grabbing the controller and I'm doing it myself manually because you don't want to miss this essential part, all right? It's when the character gets on the bale of hay. So I'm just forwarding right now so you guys can see the cut and exactly what happens because something interesting happens that might happen to you, all right? You see when the bird flies away and my character just fell? All right, weird stuff happened. That used to never happen to me, but all of a sudden, you see I hit a black screen while I was scrolling through my shortlisted characters, and now all of a sudden you'll see I'll be, I'll just end up in the sky. All right, and then all of a sudden the shortlist comes back, 
and then now I just hold up on the stick again and it goes back to normal. So if that happens to you, don't freak out. You can still fix that. So I'm gonna keep holding up and it's usually an indication that something is about to happen. And here we go, I'm still holding up, boom. Character goes up onto the bale of hay, stop scrolling up or stop holding up. Now take the pigeon off the short list by hitting triangle or Y. It should bring you back here, press circle or B and then go over to actors. Head over to whichever category you want. I do emergency services. I'm gonna to go to the lifeguard and start hitting square. All right, and if, and if you've done that successfully, right now you can scroll through and you can see all the outfits. And look at that. I think five outfits I've scrolled through, I've already found a white duffel bag right there. So I'm telling you, the white duffel bag spawn in plenty, okay? I think the first 10 minutes I was scrolling through outfits, I found about 20 duffel bags, just didn't have a Christmas mask, okay? But this is what you wanna do. You wanna scroll through and you wanna find a duffel bag with a Christmas mask. This could take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes to even longer, all right? Sometimes it's luck, sometimes not, but you need to find one with a Christmas mask, just like you see right here. Okay, I finally got one. It took me roughly 20, 25 minutes, but I found one. And you want to shortlist it, okay? Once you've shortlisted it, you want to go to Actors, hover over your online character, and then go back, and you should be able to exit into Director Mode, or enter Director Mode, I should say, okay? So once you've done that, and we're in Director Mode, you want to wait here roughly 30 seconds to a minute. I decided to wait over a minute, okay? I don't know if this helps, if it doesn't help, but I waited about a minute while I was in director mode. Now, once I've waited a minute, I'm gonna select a story mode character to go into story mode. Now you should end up with your outfit here in story mode, okay? So remember, white duffel bag, Christmas mask is essential. Some components may be invalid and that may stop it from coming online, but I'm hoping that this one's gonna work, okay? So now I've spent a minute in story mode, 30 seconds to a minute, just press pause, go to online, and simply go into an invite-only session. Now, remember, we did that trick with the time trial. That's a 100% save method, but it all depends on components, okay? If the components are right, it'll come online. If there's invalid components, it might not. Luckily, I'm spawning in my bunker now. Remember I said, set your spawn location to the bunker, and there we go. There's the white duffel bag, and you see what happened to the outfit i think because it was like a female outfit and it got completely changed going to the male but the pair or the uh the white duffel bag stayed the same okay and when you spawn in you want to save this thing all right i'd say save it as quick as possible because it's rare and you spent a lot of time getting it okay but that's the hardest part doing all of that all right so now we're gonna go ahead and save it go to the mash shop grab your oppressor fly up like this go ahead and hit the parachute and you want to slowly make your way over to the left side of these the the mask shop which is where they sell the hats okay so you want to land a little close to it and you'll see the window once you get up right here spam right d-pad and if you hit it you should be on the menu right there press square and you'll be able to save this okay now right here I'm gonna save it in this slot and I'm gonna call it white bag and I'm actually gonna save it three times just in case okay just in case I'm not sure you know, I just spent a lot of time. I wanted to get this saved for sure. Okay, so as you can see, the, the bag's gonna come off, but that's okay. Go ahead and select the outfit again, and the bag should reappear. And just like that, I've saved the white duffel bag successfully on my first try. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the uh, the outfit that you saw in the beginning of the video. This is the all white outfit. I call it white out, and this is the outfit I've been waiting to make for a long time. Never thought there'd actually be a white duffel bag, but there is. So I'm gonna do the transfer, and the transfer can be done over at the penthouse in the casino. Okay, go head over to this side where the jacuzzi is, and I'm gonna show you how to do a super easy no timing transfer for the duffel bag. Now you want to walk into the jacuzzi with the outfit you want the bag on okay it'll change like this to your bathing suit go ahead and go to style and select an outfit that has the bag you want so i'm selecting this one that has the white bag now i'm going to walk out and then it should transfer over to the outfit you first entered the jacuzzi in just like that okay and you want to go ahead and save it the same way i'm going to fast forward a little bit head over to the mask shop do the same thing and when i land here spam on right d-pad and there we go okay press square and you should be able to save the outfit now i'm not sure if i said it in the beginning of the video but this should work on xbox and ps4 okay i don't see anything in here that's ps4 only this should 
100% work on Xbox as well. Okay, if you do all the steps right, you might get it, you might not. That's the DM trailer. Nothing is 100%, which is why I couldn't call this 100%. But this is, what I can tell you is 100% is that this is probably the best method out there. Okay, I've heard of different methods going into parachute jobs, and that doesn't always work. All right, but this method was tried by the founder. The founders hit it 100% of the time, and I hit it once and hit it on my first try after not being in the DM trailer for over a year. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video guys. I know it ran pretty long But I wanted to make sure that I detailed everything out there perfectly for you so that you wouldn't have any more questions Okay, and if you do don't hesitate to ask put them down in the comment section and I'll try to help you out as best I can Okay, so that's it. All right, <laughs> that's gonna be it for the video. My name is roll easy Please subscribe to the channel like you know just all your support guys it means the world to me i love making tutorials i love teaching you guys glitches and i want to keep doing it as long as i can hopefully in gta 6 you know i i really hope that we can do stuff like that later on as well but i have more tutorials coming out for you more interesting and unique ones and uh and yeah i hope you enjoy them all right have a great rest of your day take it easy